just received a message from Nemorita, the cousin of Nemor. Apparently, there is a riot going on in Atlantis. Unknown, but for some reason, the Atlanteans have forcibly removed Nemor from his throne. Yes, which means something is seriously wrong. See Wyatt when you are ready to go to S.H.I.E.L.D.'s outpost in Atlantis. We do not know. He has been a fair and just ruler for many years. The people love him. Perhaps. But Namor has always been kind to his people. There has to be some other explanation for this mass hysteria. When Mer people and surface dwellers first met, there was quite a bit of hostility. There were even several invasion attempts. Ah. The relationship between our two races is lukewarm at best. The Mer people prefer to keep us at arm's distance. Once you reach our Atlantis outpost, you will be infected with a special nanotechnology. Mr. Fantastic and Dr. Pym had a hand in developing it. It will allow you to breathe water with no discomfort. You will also be able to move along the bottom of the ocean as if you were moving on dry land. That's convenient. My apologies. You are quite welcome. But I've already done the... What's that? Review computer. Uh, oh, it's all cinematics and whatnot. Okay. Fair enough. Yo, vision. Welcome, my friend. Do you require information? Namor is the first known hybrid of Homo sapiens and Homo mermanus, humans and mer people. He can breathe water and air, but if he's away from water too long, he will begin to weaken. As with most mer people, he has an inborn distrust of surface dwellers, and true to his belligerent nature. Namor can take his distrust to the extreme. The Atlanteans are distant cousins to your race. Having evolved on the ocean floor, it is impossible for them to breathe air. Because they live in the extreme conditions of the ocean, mer people are very hardy. They are stronger than humans, can swim up to 30 miles per hour, and live to be over 150 years of age. That's impressive. I am glad. Hi, it's good to see you. Do you need something? The mutant amplifier vastly augments any mutant's natural power. So a psychic that can lift a book will become powerful enough to lift a bus. Yes, but it has some serious side effects. The amplifier causes damage to the DNA of any mutant it's used on. Not much. That doesn't sound very helpful. Worked on Captain America. There's something very peculiar about his physique. That, plus the doctor who originally developed it, is dead. He'd wind up with a bunch of muscle-bound beasts, just like you saw in the Omega. They're psychotic, violent, and unable to take orders. Not exactly what you'd want from an army. Ah, there's no problem. Uh, I might have to do some of this in my, uh, in, like, off camera. Thor has two war goats on his chariot. What's that one? Well, that's kind of obvious, that one. Shield's highest ranking agent, it was Nick Fury. Captain America was frozen at World War II. Well, these are actually quite straightforward. Vampire Home Blade is almost half human. Blood turning to Life of Crown Mysterio was. Special effects, yeah. Doctor Doom was the same college as.
What is commonly believed to be Blackbird's previous occupation? That's an illogical one. Ghost Rider is known as the Spirit of Vengeance. Deadpool joined the weapon because I uh, had yeah, cancer. Who played Matt Gargan to. Who paid him? He's coming to Scorpion. Well, it won't be Aunt May. <laughs> That was a guess. Pim, uh, pin particles. Who here is not a member of the Howling Commandos? Uh, that I don't know. Well, Spider Man leveled up, apparently. I don't think there's anything else I can do in here. Is there anyone else I can talk to? No one up here. Oh, there's a thing up here. Actually, why is there an X over here? Iron Man Lab. Welcome and good day to you. I am Edwin Jarvis personal butler to Mr. Anthony Stark. This area is where Mr. Stark carries out the research and development of his Iron Man suit. As you can imagine, the body armor has become so complex that a staff of technicians is required. You may walk around and inspect the facilities. I believe you'll already find several of your compatriots here. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, Iron Man's in my art party, though. Uh, yeah, uh, the name's Jack Hammer, uh, but you can call me Weasel. Oops. Everyone does. Yeah, and don't worry, I came in through the back. No one saw me. Uh, Wyatt Wingfoot gave me a damaged laptop, said you heroes wanted to know what data was on it. Yeah, that laptop holds security information for a building called the Imperium. I can find out, but... You'll have to get me the password into Shield's priority files. Oh, there's uh, there's three possibilities: Jacob Fury, Baron Struker, or Gabriel Jones. Talk to Vision; he'll be able to help. Well, I can actually quite freely walk around the Iron Man lab. Oh look, it's an Iron Man costume. Uh, there's another one. A couple of Iron Man suits in here. Oh, Black Panther. I must admit, I find news of a shield outpost near Atlantis very intriguing. Now I know the extent shield is willing to go to to gather information on countries with closed borders. Indeed it does. And now I wonder if perhaps shield doesn't have an outpost hidden there. We have the largest deposit of vibranium in the world. To open our borders would be an invitation to those who would conquer us. Over the centuries, fools have tried. But the what is Weasel doing? Is always there to stop them. Indeed I am. Victor Von Doom has created a sizable army of supervillains. I don't know. But Doom must have a truly grand scheme to risk attacks on the Helicarrier and the Omega base. You are quite... I know seeing the Super Soldier Project has raised some concerns about S.H.I.E.L.D., but let's get all the facts before we cause any trouble. I think S.H.I.E.L.D. has a lot to deal with, and sometimes it makes mistakes, but historically, it's done a great job of keeping the peace. I saw they were testing out a new version of the Super Soldier Serum. The same type of drug that gave me my strength and agility. Yes. During World War II, I volunteered for Operation Rebirth. 
It was a program for creating physically superior soldiers. I exceeded their expectations. Unfortunately, Dr. Erskine, the man who developed the drugs, was killed, and no one's been able to recreate his work. I have to admit, things sound kind of suspicious. Like, why was she carrying that laptop during the attack on the helicarrier? No. I'd need a lot more evidence before I'd say something like that about the Black Widow. Any time for... Hmm. The best I Huh. Um. The Black Widow is up to something, I just know it. Did you see how nervous she was on the helicarrier? Sure looks like it. She must have been trying to get that laptop to the enemy during the helicarrier battle. Yes. That laptop shows all security systems for the building. And from the looks of those systems, the Imperium must hold something valuable. Not yet. She's his second in command. We're going to need some pretty strong evidence to shake Fury's faith in her. Yes. Colonel Fury's trust doesn't come easily. And once given, it's nearly impossible to break. Okay. So Daredevil and I were close several years back. And the Black Widow and Daredevil were close not so long ago. No, I'm not. I'm long over Daredevil. If he can find happiness with the Black Widow, I wish them both the best. You're welcome. Uh, okay. Jarvis. Ah, splendid. You located the missing cufflink. It was a gift from Miss Virginia Potts when she had been Mr. Stark's secretary. My name is Edwin Jarvis, and I'm Mr. Anthony Stark's butler, as well as the butler for the Avengers. You could say it runs in my blood. My mother and father worked for Mr. Stark's parents. It is a dream of Mr. Stark's that was four years in the making. The top three floors are his living quarters. The rest of the building houses his business interests. No, not any longer. Mr. Stark recently had a change of heart concerning that particular field of industry. This is primarily where new Iron Man suits are built for Mr. Stark. Oh, indeed he does. But as his designs have grown more and more complex, he has required assistance in manufacturing them. It was my... Uh, so many you. Uh, hey. It definitely belongs to the Black Widow. It's got her fingerprints all over it. For most techs, it would have been a lost cause. But for me, I managed to drag up a few tidbits of information. It mostly dealt with a building called the Imperium. I don't know. But that laptop had the layout of the building and all kinds of information about the security. I can, but you need to get me Fury's password into S.H.I.E.L.D.'s priority files. I bet I'll find everything you want to know. My sources tell me it's one of three possibilities. <laughs> That's what I need you to find out. Okay, I'll talk to Vision. I know the password is. Uh, no, we don't. Sure. Uh, okay. Why does it have to load it between the two? Mr. Stark, there's a Herald Hogan on line two for you. Welcome, my friend. I know it's a name Colonel Fury would just as soon forget. Jacob Fury was so jealous of his older brother's success that he turned to a life of crime. Yes, and to make matters worse, the Colonel was forced to kill Jacob. So you can see why Colonel Fury does not care to dwell on that name. I would suggest you talk to the Black Widow about that name. I am glad. Uh. Greetings. Welcome back. I would not say that name too loud. He is a leader of Hydra, and a long-time nemesis of Colonel Fury. You should ask Colonel Fury. 
you are quite... Your team was outnumbered. Yeah. Gabe? Heck yes. He's a great guy. Back in the day, he was one of my howling commandos. He still is. Gabe's one of my top advisors. He saved me from making serious mistakes more times than I care to remember. You're welcome. So, I reckon that that's the password, Gabriel Jones. I'm gonna save it in case this is wrong. Uh, Weasel, where are you? Uh, hey. Thanks. When you get back from Atlantis... Oh, well, I'll never find out. That's really annoying. Hmm. Uh, well, that means that I'm going to have to do this and create a new one. In case it's wrong. 